going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about the last update for Season 4 of Black Ops Cold War, the new anime Street Sweeper, and even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before you jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and make sure you have notifications on to stay up to date with everything going on in Cold War Year 2, Warzone, Modern Warfare 2, and any other future Call of Duty as well. Also, be sure to check out my partner Manscapes, they recently released their best package yet with the Lawnmower 4.0. You can use this trimmer to get a clean shave in those hard to reach places when your significant other isn't around to help. The package features the Lawnmower. 4.0 trimmer with a 90 minute battery, the weed whacker trimmer for your nose and ears, the crop reserver deodorant, and the crop reviver toner. You also get some free gifts like the boxer briefs and a really nice travel bag. But be sure to use code TWITCH20 to save 20% off all orders at manscaped.com. The link is of course down below. Now I think a big question everybody has right now regarding the final season called The Last Stand is whether or not Menendez was planned for Black Ops Cold War all along but then they kind of just saved a return of his character and decided to throw him into Vanguard instead to kind of boost sales for the item shop, the boost sales of the battle pass. We still haven't gotten a battle pass reveal for season 5 just yet. We'll end up getting that early next week. But considering that season 5 is like a COD mobile type of season where they're kind of just bringing everything from all types of CODs into one DLC launch, I do think the the Menendez inclusion here isn't really related to the canon of the story. I was hoping that they would find a way to tie him in creatively considering the beginning of the post-launch season already crossed over Black Ops and Vanguard quite well. But it looks like considering the narrative team as Sledgehammer left before the post-launch season really started. Any plans they had for a crossover like that are probably out the window, and we might not see Menendez again in the actual canon of the COD story until maybe some point in Black Ops 2024 via flashbacks of the 90s, or if they end up having some future flash-forwards where they can follow up on his fate after the end of Black Ops 2. And I also wonder if Activision is going to come out at some point with an official COD timeline. I would certainly hope so, especially with the beginning of COD 2.0, where they can kind of iron out a lot of uh, elements from the current story we have from MW19, Cold War Vanguard, and it can give us an idea as to what is canon and what isn't. I also saw some questions floating around regarding the upcoming patch for Cold War that was found in the PlayStation database, and I want to say it's likely going to be installed on Tuesday, and once that happens, you'll see the usual suspects over on Twitter kind of ripping through that and figuring out what is coming to the game at some point soon, and it's like I mentioned a couple of months ago, I think the Season 5 patch for Cold War will be the last chance if they're going to end up adding in a remastered map or two, or even a weapon. I highly doubt we're going to get a second pass to Cold War in the same season. I mean, it's happened before, and maybe there's a possibility that whenever the haunting event starts for Vanguard and Warzone, Cold War also gets a patch, which adds in that slasher deathmatch mode, which apparently has been sitting there ready to go for a number of months now. And that was supposed to be Scream Deathmatch without the Halloween twist. Maybe they were saving that for Halloween all along, but without the Scream twist to it, but it still will be a Halloween-centric LTM. That's a possibility. And also considering the confirmation that Season 5 is the final content update for COD 1, 1.0, right? Vanguard and Warzone 1. That probably also means it's the last time Cold War will also get content. I'm expecting maybe five to seven bundles that'll last until October when Modern Warfare 2 comes out, and then hopefully some other surprises as well, but I certainly doubt there'll be a year three of any sorts for Cold War, and I don't think this game will get any more patches once COD 2.0 officially begins. Now, we also got new Call of Duty marketing, which does say that the Modern Warfare 2 campaign early access period begins October 20th at 10 a.m. Pacific, which is 1 p.m. Eastern and 6 p.m. UK. This is great news for those out there that were looking forward to hopping into the campaign first and don't have to worry about cramming everything into one day when the game officially launches or for those like me that were worried uh, of which mode they wanted to play first. I'm like, all right, which mode do I want to cover first on release? It'll likely be DMZ and Spec Ops considering we can play campaign early. We'll cover that a week early and then we can also play multiplayer during the beta so we can cover quite a bit during that period too. So I'm really excited for the launch of this game but I'm really hoping that this is here to stay as an offer for all future CODs as a part of this new COD 2.0 system. I mean, to see this for Black Ops 2024 would be massive. I was hoping to see this for Black Ops Cold War, but it didn't happen. Being able to play the campaign a week early and going through all the Easter eggs and the lore and making videos about that, and then jumping into zombies on day one of the game's launch is the dream. I mean, when Cold War first came out, I went through a little bit of zombies and then went right to campaign and then came back to the zombies since I already had played multiplayer extensively from the alpha and beta, but I think being able to see campaign early access moving forward is so big for those out there that have a hard time deciding what to play first. Now also a quick in case you missed it kind of segment here in the video. If you look at the job listing trailer put out recently it does look like that they're not actually working on single player for Black Ops 2024. That's at least my interpretation of this listing. They only mention multiplayer and zombies so this means one of two things. One they just don't have any positions to fill for the campaign team. Maybe they're already well underway with development of that campaign. They have that cover 
delivered or two raven is actually working on campaign development and they don't want to reveal it just yet but raven might do something similar like what they did with black ops cold war where they work on the campaign for the black ops game and then move on to development of the warzone updates for that year maybe that's what's going on here which i personally wouldn't mind but maybe i misinterpreted the job listing let me know how you feel about that down below in the comments i think either way it's great that trick might have two plus years to fully polish the next multiplayer and zombies modes from black ops but now let's take a look at the brand new bundle that's live and the final one for season four here in cold war year two so this is the data overload mastercraft tracer pack as it says over on the servers with the tracer pack data overload mastercraft bundle note this pack features blueprints with orange tracer fire so as an fyi if servers go down this weekend across cold war warzone or vanguard it's because of this bundle but starting off with the bio mech wraith skin if you like the color orange definitely gonna dig this skin here for wraith very futuristic looking very cyberpunk like and is definitely a skin that you would expect in a game like black ops 3 but you can see the prosthetic arm there on her left and then moving on to the source code mastercraft for the good old street sweeper this is a very deadly weapon to come across in multiplayer and it also packs a punch in zombies no pun intended so i'm also curious how this is going to do in warzone because i've been killed by it a few times and it's no joke and yes this does feature the anime inspect as we're going to talk about in a couple of minutes we're going to have the mini bite blueprint for the ots an smg that i actually didn't use that much in year one of cold war i used it more in warzone than anything but i've used it a bit more as of lately here in colder multiplayer we're gonna have the fireproof sticker followed by the shelly charm bit of a mean looking charm there but loving the design we're gonna have the heartfelt goodbye finishing move let's go ahead and preview that and yeah that's why it's called heartfelt <laughs> all right that guy got absolutely obliterated. We then have the animated calling card called Soldier Online. Perfectly fitting the vibe of this very robotic-like bundle here. Or the cyborg-like bundle, I should say. We then have the Target Acquired Reticle. And then lastly, the Rank Detector Accessory. An animated watch that does display your rank, which is pretty impressive. So I don't think I've seen many watches in this game display your rank. At least not from what I can remember. But if you guys have a bunch of those, let me know down below in the comments. But definitely a pretty solid bundle here. And the last one here for Season 4 in Cold War Year 2... Let's go ahead and take all this content in game. Oh, buddy's showing off the game, but this is Diesel, a map that I'm like, all right, it kind of has a uh, orange vibe to it, right? There's some orange on the map. It should fit this Wraith skin. Loving that cutscene there, an army of Wraiths. Starting off with our beautiful Mastercraft. Check out that inspect chat. This is every anime fan's dream blueprint to use in Call of Duty. Now, I would honestly say that one's better than the other anime pack that we just got in Vanguard. Did you actually lag out of the game? Yeah, you shook me out. Oh. Back. The bundle was too goaded, dude. The anime vibes, dude, were too real. You're an anime hater. Rip. No. There is the tracer fire, and then we have our OTS here, which, again, is pretty deadly, and honestly, a bit of an underrated SMG in Cold War. You actually can't put bots on Diesel for some reason, because it's considered a gunfight map, even though it actually is a 6v6 map as well. I was hoping that they would add, like, a combined arms version of Diesel, but set at night, like we've seen the campaign. That would have been sick. We can check our watch while Sean loads in. Check Play watch. Reload. Look at that slow reload. There you go. And it shows our rank, 263. I'm happy we hit 200 for this season. All right, here's our finisher. It's called Heartfelt Goodbye. Oh, and he fell off oh. the truck. Damn, Striker just got obliterated by Miss Wraith. And I still want to know, chat, did some of these Perseus villains survive? The post on story. We kind of don't hear much about them during season six, but it's presumed that maybe they did die over in Verdance, uh, the best Warzone I've ever made, right? Uh, here's our crouch finisher. Also, not too different, but. What? It canceled what on you. Happened? That's different. Go prone. That's fine. We got the point. <laughs> the crouch one's pretty similar. But for prone, see how different this one is. Oh, okay. So maybe the, the truck is bugged? Let's try it right here. What a fail, chat. Blooper real time? All right. Here it is while prone. Okay, that one's pretty cool. Very, very brutal. And this is, again, the last bundle as a part of Season 4 in Cold Reader 2. Another batch of bundles is expected to be coming out very soon. All right, folks, we are here on Zoo to match the continuity of the awesome nuke you guys saw in the background for multiplayer. And I honestly think Outbreak Collapse is one of the better Zombies LTM Treyarch has ever done. I was very happy when they added it back in with the launch of the Super Easter Egg not too long ago. Again, part of the Year 2 content Zombies has gotten. And I'm sure Colder would have got even more if they didn't have to worry about juggling Vanguard Zombies. But still, I'm excited for the Archon. Now, can you see this uh, anime inspect? I'm assuming you can't. Uh, no, I can't. I wonder how that would look on your screen. Just a <laughs> bunch of pop-ups. 
over the weapon itself, but is Mr. Orta here? He is He is here. I almost thought he wasn't for a second. We also have the helicopter. Level 1 armor off the rip. Got that nice animated calling card. Top right. I have my ring now. Let's go ahead and take out Mr. Buddy. Where's he at? Here we go. Let's check out our Sweet Sweeper. We have no Jug or Pack-A-Punch, but... Oh, wow. Those dogs. Here's Ring of Fire. That really hurts him. This is great to see. Hit him up, hit him up, hit him up. This thing will shred him. Okay, Jen, I'm very happy. He's almost out of ammo, but... Max ammo, please? No, we weren't lucky enough. Oh my god, I'm so dead. That did quite a bit to him. I'm impressed with no pack a punch. I messed my jump yeah, up. I'll... Yeah, you're not getting up. No, yeah. you're right here. Stop taking, stop bleeding. Oh. Yeah. No. no, I just had you. I just had you. All right, folks, here is tier one on our Street Sweeper Mastercraft. Here we go. See that nice camel coverage there. It looks pretty good. The blend is nice. I think the camel only goes on the mag and like the center of the Street Sweeper, not the whole thing. Gotta love that. Let's go check out Orta now. We ended up restarting to see what this will do with Ring of Fire and Tier 1 Pab when his health bar is full. We have the Tesla Model 3 Storm and then we have Ring of Fire and Tier 1 Pab here. Okay. Oh, man. And you have a uh, Pab OTS. Oh, he's done. He's done. Absolutely done. Wow. That was crazy. What did he drop? Anything good? Oh, Brain Rock? It's a Brain Rock. Oh, no. I need that armor. Oh, my God. I'm dead. I couldn't yeah. even move. I got stuck in a circle, literally. Get that nuke perfect. I need to get Jug. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. These guys get crazy. This mode is insane, chat, honestly. If you haven't played it, please try it. See, they had a Halloween twist on Outbreak Collapse. I mean, you had a Halloween zombie LTM that got converted to, like, a regular LTM. Do the same thing with uh, Scream Deathmatch and turn it into Slasher Deathmatch. I think they're going to do that at some point soon. Ooh, a stoner. A little stoner. And a nice donation of an OTS. This is the blueprint with Tier 1 Pack-A-Punch on it. And I think it just goes through ammo a little too quickly. I mean, that's what I would expect from... Uh, this fast firing SMG, but how does this work against a Tempest? Let's see. Obviously, epic rarity as well. Oh, that shreds him. Yeah, I mean, actually, I feel like this could burn ammo a little too quickly. Quicker than I would like, but... Nice, dude. Yeah. Brain rotted disciple. It's all you needed. I'll just take these guys out right there. Got that mangler. Oh. Perfect. Yeah, see, I'm already out of ammo with this OTS. Still fun to use, though. Again, not every weapon is meta, but they can still be fun to use. Oh my god, I'm still low on money. There we go. Wow, dude, five bucks. Oh, here comes Buddy. Oh, and he grabbed me. With no jump. I'm so dead. There we go. Here we go. Tier 2. Got that nice green going here. Let's get rid of all this. A little bit of a problem here. And get our little inspect with Tier 2 Pap. We're not going to go for Tier 3, obviously, chat. We usually don't, but just to get a better glimpse of uh, our camo coverage, here is green on our good old OTS. Loving the vibe of that. Cleanup time. Oh, they are knocking me out. I'm so dead. <gasps> oh, no. Dude. Oh, my. Wow. I almost got insta down there. That was not pleasant. Okay, with Ring of Fire, the OTS is, is fine. One more? Oh, it's Buddy. Is that a... Oh, it's a Panzer. Oh. Yo. Yo. Oh, my God. Really oh. tanky. I mean, round five is tough, chat. I wonder what round five is the equivalent to in round base. Or six, excuse me. We're on six. What is that equivalent to in round base? We weren't doing that much damage, but uh, that is Outbreak Collabs with the brand new Data Overload Pack. But now taking a look at the Mastery Camel coverage on these blueprints, starting off with the good old OTS. We have gold, which nearly covers the middle of the OTS itself. You can still see the orange towards the top. We then have diamond, which covers the entire thing. At least you have the Tracer Fire to know that it's a blueprint. And then Dark Matter Ultra, which has some pretty good coverage there as well. We then have zombie camos. Golden Viper, which I'm not really a big fan of as a camo altogether. Just my opinion. But at least you can see the orange there towards the top. We then have Plague Diamond, which nearly covers the entire thing as well. But you can still kind of see the cybernetic-like element of the blueprint right below the barrel. And then we have Dark 
Dark Ether, which doesn't cover the whole thing, but Dark Ether always looks good, right? But then we have the Street Sweeper Mastercraft, and to be honest with you, gold here in multiplayer does not cover very much. It's almost not worth running, but the diamond definitely blends pretty nice. I love how you can still see the orange part of the blueprint, all the little orange dots, and you can kind of get a vibe for the design that it still has, and you still get the inspect animation as well, but then Dark Matter Ultra doesn't cover very much at all, and if anything, diamond so far does look best. Moving on to zombies, Golden Viper really isn't visible, to be honest with you, it's just like the regular gold from MP. Plague Diamond, however, does blend pretty well, just like MP Diamond, you can still see a good glimpse of the Mastercraft, and then last but not least, we have Dark Ether, which at least covers the mag and a bit of the top of the Street Sweeper, but doesn't have the best coverage, which I'm okay with when it comes to the Mastercrafts. All right, chat, they added Golden Plunder back in, which I guess I missed that in Raven's Fleet earlier today, but also as a reminder, Titanium Trials is now available for duos alongside quads, so hopefully that helps you out if you have not unlocked your Liquid Metal Camo or the Skynet one. All right, folks, we are back on Rebirth. We haven't been on this map in a while because we've been grinding Caldera quite a bit. Oh, free kill there in the sky. Let's go do the inspect while I get the chance to before I get one tapped. How does it look here in Warzone? I'm very curious. Oh, relatively similar. If anything, a little bit clearer. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, and then we have our OTS here. The OTS is amazing in Warzone, so no doubt in my mind that it's going to be very fun to use. Oh, peek a little bit, man. Oh, he didn't want to die in pregame. There, there we go. Beautiful, chat. All right. Uh, this skin's actually pretty sick. I mean, it's not ultra animated or anything, but still looks good. Orange pops out, and here we go. Oh, got to do... Down him. What? What the hell? Whoa. Serpentine. Oh, let me not, let me execute. There you go, there you go. There you go. Oh, oh, we got to do, we got to do, do it. Oh, can I do the execution on him? Oh. Yes. No, no, do it again. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. And. Damn. Nice. Oh my god, I'm serious. He has the rock off. It's this oh. guy again. It's that guy. Finish him. There we go. Oh. Ooh. Another one, another one, another one. That was a wipe. Who was he shooting at? Oh. Yep, this guy. Oh! <laughs> what just happened? I just came in, there's like multiple squads here just got destroyed. We got this PDS when you get a chance. Everything you need is right there in that room. Everything you need. Is he on the roof? He's on. Oh, no, he's right here. Whoa! That was bounty too, perfect. Oh, I missed. I'm sorry. No, 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 right here. How many? Why? You patience can get ready to go prone. Right here, right here, right here. No, no, sit down right here. Whoa, whoa. Oh, good down, dude. Oh. Here. No freaking way. Go where we're going. Oh. I'll practice this guy. Oh, let's go, baby. That's how you do it. That's how you end it. That's how you end it. GG. Ooh, there we go. Little dub. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the brand new Data Overload Mastercraft pack here, a part of year two, the final bundle here in season four as well? What are your thoughts again on that big Black Ops crossover coming in season five, known as The Last Stand? And also, what are your thoughts on the upcoming patch that will be added to Cold War in the next couple of days? Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.